Challenge 2, Adobe Illustrator. Draw your own monster character. Outline it in black and make sure there are no gaps in the lines. Scan it, check your email and then save it to an appropriate folder. Then you'll need to open Adobe Illustrator. To find Adobe Illustrator, click on your search, type in Illustrator, find Adobe Illustrator CC 2018, right click on it and pin it to your taskbar. It should appear down the bottom and I usually drag mine so my um, Adobe programs are close to each other. Double click on Illustrator to open it. Once Illustrator has opened, click on File, New. Go to the Print menu, choose A4, ensure that your document is Portrait Orientation and name it Monster. Click on Create. You have a new document. You have your toolbox to the left and your palettes to the right. Click on File, Place. Find your monster that you've scanned and saved. It comes in attached to your cursor. Place it in the middle of your page. Go to the object menu. Go down to Live Trace and choose Make and Expand. Go back to the object menu. Click on Ungroup. Making sure you have the selection tool active, click anywhere on the page so that your monster is deselected. Then you need to find the outline and select that and push backspace. We want to delete the outline from your page. We're now going to save this file. File, save as, and we're going to call it your name, underscore, monster, underscore, laser push enter. Okay, so we've got the name at the top here. We're going to make another copy of this, so go back to File, Save As, and this time instead of calling it Laser, we're going to call it Color, and save again. Okay, just check and make sure that you're working on the color file and we're going to add some colour to our image. Go up to the Window tab and make sure that colour is active and you can see it is because it's got a tick next to it here. I've also got the colour dialog box here. I have a colour picker here and I have colour um, pickers up here as well. So I'd like to add some colour to the teeth of my monster. It's come through as grayscale I just make sure I click on RGB color and it changes it to color. I'm going to use this color tab up here and I'm going to make red teeth. I have red teeth, that's great. Click anywhere to deselect and now I'm going to select the bottom teeth. They've all come through as grayscale as well, so go back, choose RGB color. I want to match this color, so using the eyedropper tool, I click on the red that I've already used and it's matched my color. Click anywhere to deselect and now I'm going to colour the rest of my monster. Just remember, if you make a selection and it comes up as grayscale, go to the drop down menu here, select RGB, then use your colour picker to change the colour that you want. Happy with that, so now I go back and make sure I've got the selection tool active. I draw around my monster to select it all. Right click, group. That means that my whole image is joined together again and will move as one unit. Making sure you have your monster selected, go to the object menu, click on transform and we're going to go to scale. I want to scale it to 50%. Can you just make sure the selection tool is active again and make sure it's in the middle of my page. Going back to the toolbar on the left, click and hold down on the rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool. Click anywhere on your screen and we're going to draw a circle that is 200 by 200. Click 
click OK once you've typed your numbers in. I've got a circle here and I'm just going to move it so it's in the middle of my page. Making sure my circle is still active, go to the Object menu, select Arrange and choose Send to the Back. And you can see my monster is now in front of a circle. If you think your monster is too small, click on the Selection tool, click on your monster, hold the Shift key down and pulling one of the corners, it will keep it in proportion and then you can use the selection tool to move it into a position that you're happy with. You can also hold the shift key down and select the circle as well and then use the align tab to align your objects horizontally and to also align them vertically. So now my monster is in the dead center of my circle. I'm going to change the fill color of my circle to black and file, save. 